my shoulders were brought to bed, they were broader, our tummy looks big and he made it bigger, you know? That wouldn't be the picture of Ali Raza Rizvi. That would be a cartoon of Ali Raza Rizvi. If you pick and choose from Islam, then you will not be practicing the true picture of Islam, you would be practicing on the cartoon of Islam. Please do not make cartoons of Islam, you know, don't pick and choose. I like this and I will just only practice this. I don't like that. I'm going to leave that out. That's not true Islam. Don't pick and choose the things that you like. Islam is a full package, you know. You have to take the full package. You know when you go to some market, you buy something, you say, you can't buy the whole thing. Well actually, you know, for example, you went to buy a computer, the memory is not working properly. Can I just take out the memory from the... No, actually you buy the full package. That's how Islam is, you buy the full package. You know, when you say, I am a Muslim, you take the full package of Islam. You do not pick and choose. You don't say, I like something and I don't like something. You have to take everything. You have to take the true teachings of Islam. Okay? Now, Tawheed itself, Adil Abu Imam these are the foundations of religion. If the foundation is strong, then the, the tree will be strong. But if the foundation is not strong, then you will not have a strong branch, you will not have a strong tree. Many times people say, well, why do we not hear so much about Usul al We do hear about Usul al but what is important is the foundation is always, you know, when you build a very tall building, you have a strong, big foundation, but the foundation is not as high as the building. If the building is 110 feet high, then the foundation is not 110 feet in the ground. It would be 10, 20 feet, that's it. Foundation has to be strong for the strong building, but it doesn't have to be as long as the building. Therefore, you should have a strong foundation so you can build a strong building on it. But the building is important. Today, the biggest tragedy with the Muslims in Islam is that you would relate Islam with terrorists and people who have nothing to do with Islam. The Taliban and the terrorists. What percentage of the Muslims are the terrorists or the Taliban? 10%? Yes. No, less. 5%? Yes. 1%? Less. A lot less. There are more than 1.5 billion Muslims around the world. 1.5 billion. You know, 1% of 1.5 billion would be 150 million or 15 million. 15 million Taliban, do you think we have? No. Not even 1 million. May I destroy them all? Say Ameen. Yeah, may I destroy all the enemies of Ahlul Bayt and You see, you cannot define a religion by some exceptions, you know? You do not take the exception and say this is what this religion is. You don't take a minority of a minority and say this is what the Muslims are. That's not how you define Islam. You have to take what general Muslims are to, to say what the Muslims are. Not just an exception or a minority of a minority. Today, the biggest tragedy is that people, you know, when you say, people who don't even know how to write Islam properly in Arabic, you know, you tell someone, okay, write Islam for me in Arabic. 